All right, finally, I have my screen share or my, my video screen uh, software up and running. So finally, I got that ready to go. It is Monday, April 6th. I'm L. Jermaine Russell. I'm here looking at some stocks. Uh, let's minimize that. Um, the pre-market has been showing a couple of stocks that are really good to look at. Um, I'm currently still holding two different stocks right now. Uh, MRNA is one of them. Uh, started to come down after it hit the high of 36. 70 uh, during the pre-market hours we go back highest that is actually has hit and i said back a couple of days i have passed 180 days now um, this is the hour chart you see when it came out with earnings it actually ramped up to 38 33 um, that is its all-time high so far this is mrna um, and once again just because they work so closely with the government on developing a vaccine for this uh, for this coronavirus. If it wasn't for the coronavirus, I think that they would be working on something else, which they have identified earlier that they would be working on something else during the interview. I mentioned this before. Um, the mRNA, they focus on mRNA. Um, and so it happens that this disease is a RNA uh single strand of rna disease um so or virus so you know it's just only fitting that a company who specializes in mrna focuses on this so um, i want to see this actually retest the one uh, to i want to see it retest actually 38 i don't know why i'm bugging um but right now i can just see it having some problem around 35 uh, and this is just in pre-market hours so we'll see what happens with um when the market opens in um outside of mrna i am looking at an o stock that uh said it to them um, like literally i was looking at it uh, i think it was around eight or so yeah it was, i was like oh what's going on here i didn't catch the first first news um but you know when you look into it they're going to offer up um 150 million dollars worth of common share so I am not 100% sure. Sometimes when I see that there's an offering coming, that stock would tend to run. And I've seen it where an offering is mentioned, you know, and uh, after hours, the stock plummets. So I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this stock in particular, but I do like what it's done thus far. It is hit, you know, um, you know, tech. Um, Another aspect of share because we'll be able to read symbols from previous. So, going on today, um, let's see, going on is well, not, not today, but on Friday, close green, you know. So, that was good. That's always good. it was still looking like it needed to um, um, push out some sellers, right? So, it can go into a positive direction. This is the positive direction that it's actually doing and what it needs to do if it wants to go any higher. Um, I said to a couple of friends early this morning that, you know, 9, uh, 915, it seems like resistance, um, maybe, maybe a little bit lower than that on the year chart, but go into, you know, um, the hour chart. Uh, is also testing resistance. So this is the previous resistance here. Um, previous resistance around nine dollars, nine nine oh three or so. Um, and right now, what did it test? It tested uh, eight seventy five. So that's back over here. So you know, maybe there needs to be a whole lot more buyers for this to happen to go higher. And with this pending. News, um, it could go higher. I'm not in it right now. I do not care to be in it right now, um, particularly because it's all about on the hour. Um, if it comes back down, which I hope, then it won't be overbought on the hour. It won't be overbought on the year. Maybe more, just 
you know, one day. Um, like I would like to see it test at 9.30 and get up to 10. Uh, but as we can see on the minute, and let's go actually to the chart. Um, you see, it did a big ramp up, a pre-market. Um, and it does like to move. Like, it does like to make big moves. So, you know, it did kind of make this big move in the pre-market, um, going to the open, back on this was Thursday. Um, it liked to trade a little bit fast, you know, kind of recovered its gain at the end of the day, but recovered its loss towards the end of the day. Um, as you can see, it's starting to bounce back up. It made support at 840, um, and it's starting to retest at 7, um, 770. So, like, you know, technically, if I was a day trader, um, which I am a day trader, uh, I would still see this come down. Um, I would still like to see this test, really, not test, but really bounce off this $8 area um, for me to really want to get into it. Because just because it's coming out with a vaccine um, that they're doing later on today, um, which is really good, which is why I want to be a part of this. Um, it's still not a reason for me just to, you know, run and rush into buying it. I don't want to rush in. Um, you know, even if I rushed in, I probably wouldn't have caught this news about it um, selling 150 million shares. So I don't know. Um, other than that, I also see that AIM is making some movement. I tried trading this before, uh, it didn't work for me, but um, I will. I will look at it. Three, uh, 304. Um, and I bought some at 310. So we'll, we'll see what this. Uh, let me see what else. Let's see what else we hey, It looked like it wants to make some movement. It's up 15 cents a share. We'll see. It's still not hitting my technicals. This is the only reason why I mention it. It's not hitting my technicals yet, but it has a great price, which is one of my characteristics for my trading. Uh, this is very important the price. And if the price brings this um, 50, 200 day moving average above the 50, then we have, we have, we have the best reducing the selling and the uh, resistance or um, resistance. It's, it's increasing in this momentum and it's also uh, showing some strength into the bullish side. So, you know, we'll see what happens there. Um, I did want to get into this stock before. Market opens. We still got four minutes. So I'm going to stop talking so I can focus. I did buy this stock, which is the actual reverse of my strategy. I said I want to test it out to see if it can um, spike to the $7.50 um, $7 area. Um, I don't know much too much about this stock other than it has a 7% share uh, float and that it is some technicals and that the MACD and the RSI. Are going in my favor. It, is, it did pull back during the. It did pull back in the early um, pre-market from the 65 area, but that Robinhood um, account. This is why I say trading sucks. Um, you don't really have if you have a, a small. Um, if you have a small amount in your account, it doesn't allow you to trade during you know certain hours. So like. 6, 7 a.m. You won't be able to trade until actually 9 a.m. So, you know, um, you know, I would have loved to get out of here, but it's fine. Um, only this is $300. I'm not a hundred percent. I just want to make understand why we get these spikers when the 200 day moving average is way above um, the 50 and the 200. Like, uh, the 100. There's the, all of this space, and the 200 moving averages up here, and the 150 are down here. So, um, I've seen it spike, and as we can see, some of these orders are starting to fill in now. So, you know, uh, there's two minutes left in the market. We'll see what happens, uh, but I would really like to see the spike happen to, um, yeah, to 7:45. 